This is... Wow. Beautiful. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. We take a look at a short video game that is absolutely beautiful, but can the overall game keep pace with its visual presentation with Dordogne? Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. When I first saw this game advertised, I marveled on how the visuals truly impressed. Using the Unity engine, the game felt like a series of paintings in motion. I had to give it a try. Dordogne was developed by Unimation and released by Focus Entertainment on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, Windows PC, and for the Xbox Series X and S in 2023. This adventure game has the main character, Mimi, solve puzzles and minigames throughout the game as the story progresses from chapter to chapter. The story has Mimi travel to her grandmother's house after her death and recalls her childhood memories she spent with her grandmother, Nora. As she remembers, the story jumps back and forth from the present to the past to uncover how those experiences shaped her to adulthood and helping her discover herself in the process. The story here doesn't really push the envelope and really doesn't make you feel any more different from the beginning to the very end. The character development isn't as strong as you would expect. The story does have some charming moments, but doesn't really deep dive into the characters. You aren't as emotionally charged and learning more about each character as the game progresses. There were great one-on-one -on -one experiences with Mimi and Nora, but not enough to truly make an impact on the story. A very special place. Your grandfather and I used it to express ourselves. Since he passed away, I, I've kept it to myself. It's a bit like a temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not good to do that, I think. Places, objects, they should have many lives, just like that tape recorder you found. I should have asked. Perhaps, but now it's yours. Um, Grandma? 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 Uh, 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 what? I felt there were huge opportunities missed in explaining a character's past that were missed as the story truly glosses over those moments. The story hints at them, but truly never outright explains them. The gameplay is very simplistic as you solve puzzles to various mini games as you progress. Nothing here screams brain teaser and there is some trial and error, but nothing that will get you frustrated by any means. The usage of the controls on cooking recipes, painting boats, to mimicking singing is at its most simplistic and has its charm in the beginning but it's more tedious in the end. The best part of the game is its visuals. The game mimics a watercolor art style that is beautiful to witness in motion. I kept on going in the game to virtually see more and more on how and what the visuals would do to impress me for the most part, and it really did. There were some sections of the game I repeated over and over just to marvel and how this game was visually designed and presented in such a way. Overall, the game is an average game at best, where all the attention goes to the visuals, art direction, and designs. The rest of the game isn't held up to those standards, and it really shows. I would like to say that the game is short and sweet, but it is mostly forgettable, with huge misses on telling a more compelling story, with huge misses on character development. Dordogne gets a 6.5 out of 10, for its absolutely stunning artistic visual presentation that is hampered by its lackluster gameplay, story, and just about everything else. That's it for this look at Dordogne. Please like and subscribe if you liked my video. Be ho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.
them. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 